life right now. Hi. Hi. Uh, I'm Big Law. This is Fable Lost Chapters. And uh, I'll just get into this. So this game is basically Zelda, because we just roll around everywhere, so... And this is some boring cutscene about story or some nonsense. So the game will start for just for marathon's sake whenever I hit next here, so you're good to go? I'm good to go. Alright, three, two, one, go. Oh shoot, I forgot to have chat open. Oh no, my chat experience is gone. I forgot about that. Oh well. You can you can still open it real quick. I'm already on the move, man. I could probably like open it on my phone or something when at the time. Anyways, so this is Fable. We're beating up this uh, bully because he's a bully. And because we beat him, we get a teddy bear because it's a prize or something. I actually have to give it to uh, this little girl up here. So we'll be rolling our way over onto her uh, her turf. And rolling is the fastest way of moving in the game in comparison to just running, so you can see a lot of rolling. And also just give her the teddy bear from like five feet away, that's fine. And now we talked to our dad and we got some money, and we need money to buy our sister a birthday present since it's her birthday. But we didn't get quite enough, but since we caught that guy cheating and uh, he just paid us off to not tell his wife, we got enough money to buy her something, so gonna make our way over here. Talk to this merchant. He gives us some chocolate. Got some chocolate now, and uh, that's a terrible guard. Alright, well, he didn't aggro on us, which is nice. If we uh, do a bad deed. Oh my god, these guards suck. Yeah, so that's the sound of him getting angry at us, and when they get angry, they will chase us down and try and give us this turn talking to and not be bad. That's our sister. We just kind of not give her chocolate, and then give her chocolate, because it's fast. And it's her birthday, so what better way to celebrate her birthday than, you know, light up some candles? So, there was a catastrophic accident with the birthday cake, and now everything is on fire. It's a little bit sad. Hopefully we'll, uh, see things that get better, but not gonna happen, unfortunately. There's our father. Uh, he's, he is the first victim of the Great Cake Incident of 2017, unfortunately. And, yeah, we are now making our way... To the guild of heroes. You'll be sharing this room with Whisper. That's a uh, guild master. He's all right. That's Whisper. We don't really like her, so we're just gonna punch her in the face. And please trust me on this. It is fast to punch people in the face, specifically her, because we use just like skip some boring, like cutscene, not cutscene, like tutorial stuff. It's fast. Trust me. Trust me. You. That's the guild master again. He's giving us the cold stare. They're being taught how to punch a dummy, so we're doing that. Not making much of an impact. Got a stick. Sticks are better for beating things up with, so we're gonna beat this dummy up with a stick. Ah, now that's more like. And we get taught about experience. Now we got our first quest, which is to go kill some bugs in the forest. So we're gonna roll our way over to the guild woods. And we're gonna crush some beetles. Attempting to navigate a phone and speedrun at the same time is not a good idea. I should have opened chat beforehand, but I was lazy. And these are the beetles. Uh, they sometimes spawn in weird places. And makes for a bit inefficient killing, like that. It's also faster to try and kill them as fast as you can since they will like spawn all bunched together. That's a really weird well spawn. Done, I don't know. The beetles are all dead. You can come out of the woods now. So yeah, we just did our first quest. And uh it's good good stuff. And now we're gonna be prompted to advance our life a little bit, so Whisper is sad that we've been asleep for like five years, so now we're gonna go beat her up in a combat ring for educational purposes. We're gonna roll our way through the tavern, and the barman didn't really block the uh, students that well, so we're just kind of gonna have to force push our way through there. Sometimes the barman will just like trap everyone behind a bar, and we can just move through that area freely. It's pretty nice when that happens, but it doesn't happen too often. 
You can put that old. All right, so now we got our first real weapon, and we're gonna just start off by just going at Whisper. She's a little bit annoyed. Pay attention. Roll block. Roll block. Roll block. Block. And block. Well done. Alright. Eh, it's a little inefficient. That's all wrong, Whisper. Dude, I'm trying to... I'm trying to open DJ and dash. This is awful. I should not be trying to do this. <laughs> Let's continue our training with the bow. There's like no good time to do this. Alright, whatever. I'm gonna just shoot these dummies. Or it's just basic tutorial stuff. So we shot those dummies. Now I'm gonna shoot this dummy. And that skips the uh, whole uh, whole little uh, bit of tutorial stuff there. Saves a minute. Talk to the guild master. Go the next way. Or next part. All right, cool. I finally have chat open. Good shit. I apologize for the swears. All right, there we go. Finally. <laughs> that was that was bad. I do apologize. Very good. A little bit slow. Before you break. I've been up all night. I apologize. So if I like slur or misspeak. I just have been up all night, so whatever. We're into the final part of the guild, which is beating up Maze, so I spawn a little bit far away from us. Sometimes you can have him spawn close to you, and uh, you can chain some attacks into his back and save a lot of time, but this was not such a case. Fortunately, he spawned pretty close to us for the bow, so get some quick close shots. So yeah, if we get those uh, chained attacks in, then we can just kind of skip the whole part of him teleporting there, and that saves a, a little bit of time. It's nice. But now that we've done that, we're going to make our way out of the guild, and we will be on our way to doing hero-like things. How awful is Anniversary? Anniversary is awful. Do not play it. Terrible game. It's time for you... Alright, so we're going to pick up our first spell, now which is going to be Assassin's Rush, experience. and with that, we will be able to go very fast. So, KJ looking out of his dank table window. Yeah, KJ is uh, the world record holder for this game. He's a pretty cool dude. Doesn't stream too much right now, kind of busy with life. Yo, Pingu champ. Nice. Yeah, so we're going to be making our way to our first quest, which is defeating the Wasp Queen. And it's just a big bug. Nothing really too serious. I love you too, David. I love you too. So, first real quest. Gonna act as a giant bug zapper. Zap those bugs. Get some juicy kills in. All right, those are actually not juicy whatsoever. Uh, you, I, you ideally want to get some cleaves into here and like kill multiple wasps at the same time to uh, minimize the amount of swings, but whatever. And this is the wasp queen. She's a chump. She only takes one arrow, like a couple of swings of your sword to actually kill. So shoot her once, put her into her second phase, and we'll just dig into her. Unfortunately, I hit a normal wasp, and that just kind of killed my chain of attack. But we still killed her, so that works. That bag right there that had a will potion into it or in it, but uh, I opted not to grab it since uh, there's a bit of a little sort of dialogue prompt that will pop up whenever you grab a item that you've not picked up before. So I'll save that for later when I uh, roll over a potion intentionally. So 
so yeah, we're making our way to the first major settlement uh, of the game, which is Bowerstone. We visit here a few times throughout the run, but specifically we come here right now to one advance the story and two to generate infinite money. So, gonna talk to this guy here. Gonna sell these potions that we don't need for now, and we are gonna go to the produce and we're gonna buy some pies and some sacks of grain. I'm gonna sell these things for a lot more than we bought them for because the game is broken like that. So yeah, we just generated a bit of money and we're gonna go talk to Maze here. Oh yeah, this is Maze by the way. He's a he's a friendly, upstanding guy. Yo, there's a PV command, awesome. So yeah, I'm gonna sell that bow. I'm gonna buy the better bow. We got a bow, it's nice. And I cleared that inventory slot because we're going to be a bad person and we're going to steal something from this poor woman who lives inside this house. Hi there, woman. I'm going to roll past you real quick. And I'm going to pick up this potion. That's an Ages of Might potion. And there's like different varieties of Ages potions. So there's Ages of Strength, Skill, and Will. And what it does is it gives you 1,000 experience of whatever type of potion it is. And uh, that's multiplied by your combat multiplier. And I will explain that a little bit later on, because we got this quest and we will need combat multiplier for that. Hey. So yeah, just making our way over here, we're gonna go to the Great Wood, and here we're gonna experience like the first major RNG of the run. So you'll see these wasps just kind of flying around and they're not really on anyone, which sucks. They're going to be on us, and if you're wondering why I'm not doing any assassins rushes now, it's because since I have these enemies aggroed onto me, I'm soft targeting them, and you'll see that guy right there, the wasp. When it's highlighted red, that's when I'm soft targeting an enemy. And when you're soft targeting an enemy and you try to do an assassins rush, you'll rush towards that enemy. And if I have wasps on my butt, then I'm just going to be rushing backwards, and that's not fast whatsoever, so we want to avoid that. Unfortunately, do not, like, rush through that bandit, which sucks. Hopefully we don't get a wasp on our butt here. Just ignore me. Alright, nice. Pretty decent RNG there. Uh, sometimes you can get wasps on your butt there, and that's a little bit unfortunate. And this is an orchard farm. Pretty pretty nice farm, farm area. I'm gonna shoot some bandits. And you see that little six below our uh, health and our mana? That's our combat multiplier, and we need to maintain that. So we're just gonna shock these guards here. And, uh, yeah. We need that to be at 12 in order to have like enough XP to progress comfortably through the run, so just shock these guys, maintain our combat multiplier, and we will be good. More bandits. And we don't have quite enough combat multipliers, so we're just going to kill these guards because they did a good job, but not good enough, so they tried their best. That's Whisper. We're getting, we're being taught about uh, a flourish, and that's like going to be the only one we do in the run. Honestly, it's not really used whatsoever beyond that. Whisper's a little angry that we beat her, but we complete the quest, so it's all good. And what the guildmaster means by saying like we've reached unsound status is that we've reached a new level of renown. How do I splice a run in a marathon? That's a good question. But yeah, what renown is is like our level of like being known within the world, and we're pretty like insignificant right now. But that doesn't really matter. So we get enough uh, renown throughout the run, anyways, to actually just complete the game without any issue. So. I don't think there's a way that you can actually not progress the story 
this region by not doing things, so. I hope you got the gold they want. These bandits will kill us for content. That's a bandit. We'll shock him real quick. Because he's gonna bully us, so might as well bully him in advance and just get the bullying out of the way. This isn't good. And we're gonna be making our way over here to this call skate, and we will be returning to the guild. And yeah, we'll be going back to the guild real quick. And we'll be getting some upgrades. I'll pick up this quest, Trader Escort. That quest is really, really silly. Ah, uh, physique allows you to do more damage in melee combat. And ah, uh, speed makes you quicker in both ranged and melee combat. Alright, so we will pick up multi-strike. These these menus menus take forever to load, honestly. Can you get summon? We're gonna get ourselves Berserk, Assassin's Rush, and Magic, Magic Power. power. Alright, so we're gonna swap these things out real quick. So clear up our hop bar, and we'll drag our Berserk over here, our multi-strike over here, and our summon right here. And Berserk helps us roll faster and stuff. Helps with movement and helps with killing things very effectively. And here, uh, you do remember this area, the Chamber of Fate. If you played this game, you remember that epic cutscene with the Sword of Aeons just rising out of the floor with Jack of Blades here and whatever. Well, the Sword of Aeons actually is just kind of... Just... It's just kind of in the floor. Like, it's just right here. We just grab it, and, uh... I don't know why they just left it in there. I think it's just, like, to make the cutscene easier to process in-game, whatever, but... We can just go grab it. It's just there for us. Alright, so I'm gonna hope that my wasp actually kills something there, because I kind of softened up those bandits. But it looks like it's not gonna kill anything, so I'm gonna try and get a wasp to kill an enemy right here, so... Alright, some of these things are softened up. Please just kill one of these things. You know, this thing is really softened up. You should try killing this thing, Wasp. Alright, you know what, Wasp, you just do your thing. Alright, good, kill it. Alright, I'm gonna quickly swap to my Sword of Aeons. Because the Sword of Aeons has a passive uh, health regeneration effect, which is really nice. Okay. Alright, so we're gonna go over here. And charge up a bow. There's a police. Speed police. Guys, we're going to, we're going too fast. And we're gonna shoot this guy in the face because it's fast. Psych. I'm just gonna kill this guy. Alright. Honestly, I think it would have been just as fast just to uh <laughs> talk with him, but I wanted to just kill him because I haven't killed him in a marathon in a while, so. You can be pretty MLG and like get a cool headshot, but I wasn't MLG whatsoever, so. I'm making our way through Darkwood right now and uh gonna abuse some iframes. Normally if you go close to those things you'll be like blasted back and dealt like minor damage, but since we have the iframes from uh, Assassin's Rush, we can just go through without issue. And if you remember this as a kid, you're like just trying to go through here and just like kill everything along the way, but actually as so long as you just get through the area as fast as you physically can go. These guys will just pop up without issue. They'll be here, all fine and dandy. I'm gonna kill this guy. This guy specifically, and we're gonna get his XP, because we don't want to waste XP. But we kill that guy because that guy in the yellow hat tucks the traders inside of the camp a lot longer than the guy in the red hat, so. Just wait for that guy to start spinning. Alright, and he'll be with us in the next area. Shut up, sir! 
Yeah, so these bandits are trying to ambush us, but you know, we're just rolling too fast for them. Literally, Sonic right now. Yeah, I gotta slow down. Speed plays gonna own me. They see me rolling. <laughs> Alright, so here's the first actual like boss of the game, which is the Earth Troll, so we're just going to go up to him, and we're just going to beat him up with our super overpowered sword. Alright, that was really hard. And we'll wait for the traitor to catch up a little bit. There we go, we got our XP, and the traitor should be close enough. I also killed him because he was a ring, yes. But, whatever, it's fine. Alright, so we've made it through Darkwood without issue. We're supposed to deliver two traitors. We came back with one. The guy saw us murder his friend in cold blood, but he's not gonna tell because, you know, we're. We get away with that issue. It's fine. I passed the time there just so I can go into this town and trade during the day because there's a chance it would end up being night because if I was too slow. Knowing me, I probably was. And we'll talk to this guy and we're gonna abuse the economy a little bit more. So we're gonna buy these perfumes and sell these perfumes. And do it again. Infinite money. It's really weird. It's like based off of supply and demand, so. Those are some pretty good buy sells, I gotta be honest. Ah, there you are. Yo, shoutouts to getting notifications on my phone. That's literally right below, right below my mic. <laughs> I apologize. Yeah, we are Knuckles, actually. We are Knuckles the Echidna. We are both Sonic and Zelda at the same time. Alright, so here's going to be like the only actual sequence break of the game right here, so... That should be good. Alright, nice. So, we just clip through that barrier. Uh, there's a different barrier. It's actually a door. I call it a barrier. But there's an actual barrier we can skip. So, again, literally Zelda. But yeah, we clip through that door and we go through this area that we're not actually supposed to be in right now. It's supposed to be full of bandits and whatever, but... We're here early and they're on break or something, I don't know. Bust that open, get that Ages of Skill potion. Get some more Aegis potions a bit later on, but right now we just grab that one because it's along the way. Yeah, the economy is just so broken in this world. Like, holy, shout out to Brexit. I'm gonna buy a lot of perfume on Amazon. Yeah. Yeah, honestly, like, working to get money? What world is this? Pick up this quest, find the blind Tyrus, and uh, you know, I'll I'll shout out the person who guesses who the blind Tyrus is if they know. I'll I'll probably say your name in chat, maybe. You better talk to me. All right, so get the line up, clip through. I'm gonna zap a barrel. Frank Zappa. Alright, so I'm probably gonna have to wait for my hob to die. Yeah, it just died, so. I'm gonna clip through that door. It is not my aunt, unfortunately. I don't think there's any like extended family in this game, to be honest. So yeah, now we have an Ages of Skill, Ages of Will, and Ages of Strength Potion. All those will be used a bit later on. These clips are actually pretty good right now, not gonna lie. I'm digging these clips. 
It is not my mom either. You're getting close though. Alright, so this is Twin Blade. He's like big boss of the bandits, wherever he's supposed to be like intimidating or something. You know, we're gonna let him beat us up a little bit because, well, you'll sh you'll see. So he's beating us up. We're berserked, and while berserked, we do a lot more damage when we get hit, and also we're gonna kill him real quick. <laughs> that was almost bad. But yeah, when you get berserked, and if you take damage, then you'll deal a lot more damage than if you were just normally berserked. So. Being berserked and taking damage means that we can one cycle him with ease, so it's pretty nice. Alright, we're gonna make our way back to the guild. Door. There's no door. No, my girlfriend is not the blind steerist. That'd be really weird. Alright, so we don't have big kid glitch, which is really, really good. <laughs> I will explain what Big Kid Glitch is. So, what it is, is it sets the models to a default state whenever, like, some those cutscenes load, like, that you saw when I first started the game. And that just can cause, like, some instability. But it causes things to not load for us, which is actually good. Like, uh, like those little videos you see when you're upgrading your stats. But besides that, it's all non beneficial stuff and causes instability. Oh, it's your blind sister, of course, Dr. Meow Wow. <laughs> Meow Woo. You got it. Meow Woo. I said it in such a weird way. Alright, so this is uh, Witchwood. Witchwood? I don't know, but it's some sort of wood. That's an Earth Troll. We don't really want to bother with him. Just kind of slip through his legs. It's all fine. Meow wow. <laughs> Alright, so we clip to that door. It's pretty pretty simple. If you were me when you were a kid, you'd do that demon door and like you had to figure out the demon door's name. You got the letters I T H S and you probably made a, a naughty word. And if you did, you got punished for it. There's Balverines who try and kill you. But it's pretty funny because you know he's he said the the poop board. It's pretty funny. You should return to the guild now. There's an important quest card waiting for you. It seems not whole play that in some trouble. Yeah, so going through Witchwood. It's pretty pretty rainy, pretty uh boreal. It's very Vancouver like. Very British Columbia. Beautiful place. I'd love to go there. Your hot blind sister. Whoa! Yeah, that's a side dash right there. I targeted that traitor. That's a bit unfortunate. A little bit slow. Not much we can do. And we have the most annoying, annoying monster right here, so... This thing is called a nymph, and it can fly across the map at its own will and it will just annoy you but fortunately it didn't annoy us too badly so that's fine and we just made it not whole glade but since they're under attack we can't really intervene until we pick up our like magical trading card or whatever so we'll go back to the guild and pick that one up and we'll get some upgrades and that's an alarm nice nice shit i keep saying that word i apologize <laughs> I set that alarm. It was supposed to be for uh, waking up. I'm already accuracy awake. Allows you to cause more Professional stream right here. Alright, so we pick up accuracy percent. and we're gonna pick up physical shield. And what physical shield does is that it will provide us with like a magic barrier and we won't take damage. So that helps with maintaining our combat multiplier, which is something we're gonna need for this mission right here. So, like Valverine. And we will shoot this guy and we'll look away real quick. And that'll spawn in the other one. Actually, no, it didn't because I didn't fully kill him. That was not speed tech right there. Alright, so this guy spawns in. That's speed tech. I whiffed. I freaking whiffed, guys. I whiffed again. Oh my god. 
Oh, I killed him. That's nice. <laughs> I'm bad. Alright, so that's the white ball right now. I'm just gonna zap him a bit. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Alright, I think I got that hit in. I did. Nice. Alright, so I don't want to have a uh, multi strike up because that will cause you to not actually gain combat multiplier if you use your bow. So, also, I need to zap this guy. So yeah, we're just being like an oversized shock collar for this bad dog. Shoot him in the butt to cancel an animation. Damn thing. And now we're gonna apply an augmentation. That's a silver augment, and uh, it will deal. It will cause your weapon to deal extra damage to Valvrines and undead. So, kind of necessary for this uh, here quest. Yo, if I could zap this guy, that'd be great. Thank you. Look away, that way can just disappear. Cause just look away from your problems and they'll all go away, apparently. Alright, so we're going to the lake. You know, just chilling at the lake with our oversized dog monster. I'm gonna go over here. And we're just gonna zoom in real quick right here. We're gonna aim at about this. Now I'll shoot him in the leg back area. That's more than enough. I'm gonna charge up a bow again. And it's gonna be another dog that's gonna come around the corner. And I have whiffed on both of them. Nice stuff. Alright, so I'm gonna back it up a bit. And this should kill him. Alright. Soak up that XP, and now we're gonna kill these extra Balrines because we need to get our combat multiplier high enough, so. Alright, that is enough. Alright, get that XP. I think I'll get that extra XP as well, just for marathon safety. And that will be more than enough XP. Yeah, he's so cute. But then we killed him, so he's not really that cute anymore. Talk to this dude. Gives us some like boring lore or stuff that we don't talk about or read or anything, like whatever, it's fine. You have reached a familiar status. We're familiar. We're the guy that killed that dog. God, it would be awful to be known about known as that guy. <laughs> like, hey, you killed that dog. Uh oh. Alright, so now we got some sick XP for upgrades, so I'm gonna upgrade that stuff real quick. Yeah, these like little cutscenes take forever to load within like a little circle on the side. Should be good. And I'm just gonna opt to dump my XP into magic power, because I just want to feel secure. I could have gone for Assassin's Rush and like get a little extra speed in going to the arena, but uh I'd rather opt for the deeper mana pool, so. So yeah, this is the fastest uh, means of movement. We can do an Assassin's Rush and two rolls with Berserk in the time that it takes for our Assassin's Rush to uh, come off of cooldown, so. That's a bad doggo. We want to ignore that doggo. Bad Bork. Do not want. There are a few borks you do not want. That is one of those borks. Yeah, you will catch some of this. Until I cancel the run. Haha, <laughs> that'd be awful. What 
the beep. Welcome to the Hall of. All right, so this is a bit of an auto scorer. So we're gonna take the time to get some get some things that we need. Some potions, some upgrade, or some augments. So we put an extra silver augmentation onto that bow because it will help us do like some serious damage, which is nice. I'm gonna shove this guard over here because one, we're a bully, and two, we need to have this guard in a very specific place for us. So I'm gonna just quickly. No, you can't do that. Um, yeah, I can, sir. Believe me, I am fully capable. All right, so we're just gonna shove this guy in the corner, and we need him in the corner because we have like a cutscene at all trigger, and it's just some nonsense. And also, I'm gonna clear up these. Oh, I made it disappear. Wow. So yeah, we clear up those hot spots, hot bar spots, and it'll help us uh, get some sick XP. Trust me. Heck. Shout out to Hecathon. That was a good speedrun marathon. I mean, this guy is not happy about this at all. He is not having a good time. But we can talk to him right away, so that's nice. Buzz. Typically, if you were to just leave him at the top of the stairs, you'd have to go all the way up there, and that's... Yo, that's not fast at all. Yo. <laughs> Uh, I completely messed that up. Alright, so you see the effects of using force push right now. So I'm using force push on these dead wasps, and that's causing us to build up some seriously good combat multiplier, so we typically want to have around 40 combat multiplier by the end of this uh, wave, and that's very doable, so get some free potions along the way. Fighting like that earns 100 it's just a lot of spamming, so. The next round will be worth 500 gold. Easy 40. He may be new to the this game is Fable Lost Chapters. Uh, it originally came out on Xbox as just Fable, and then it was re released as Fable Lost Chapters in 2005. And it came out on PC, so. It's a pretty good game. Would recommend. Yo, you, this guy's supposed to be dead. <laughs> yeah, we're killing all the bugs. Well, some of the bugs. These things aren't ha or bugs. They're they're called hobs. They're like small midget men of death and hatred. That's another five hundred gold. Six hundred gold learned so far, and there's another thousand up for grabs. I can't hit sixty-nine. No. Next wave. Next wave. Alright, that's Whisper. We're onto the like co-op waves of the arena, and she's actually useless for most of it. It's really sad. And us using force push on these corpses will cause them to uh, just like stop doing their death animation, which is really nice for these valve rains, which have this really long drawn out death animation. And here you're going to see the full effect of having two silver augments, so that's the white battle rain that has 3,000 health, and we're just going to one-shot it real quick. Alright, so there's going to be two white battle rains because somehow they... Somehow. There's, you know... In lore, there's only supposed to be one white Balverine, but like, whatever, I'll just have two. 
or I'll have like three even. Oh yeah, this bird fulfills one purpose. We can talk to her and just cancel out the like end round dialogue, and that saves a bit of time. Also, here's some spamming. So, what I just did was I cast summon, and it has like literally no cooldown whatsoever. So like. We can just cast it like as much as we want, and it costs very little uh, will for us to ca cast, so it's a very good way to generate will XP very, very quickly. One. Go. Yeah, Whisper is just a real pain in the butt. Like, she knocks over the undead and stuff, and they take literally forever to get back up. Yeah, this is like the loudest part of the run right here, just having these uh, summon spams, so. This is the only part of the game in which I'll be doing summon spams, so don't worry. Alright, so this is the bandits. Um, some runners consider this to be like the most dangerous part of the, the uh, arena, and I can agree with that. Uh, the bandits hit very, very hard, and if you get caught off guard, you can easily get sniped and lose your combat multiplier, which is not good, because you kind of need it to, you know, get a whole bunch of XP and stuff, and yeah, just losing our combat multiplier is not good at all, so... Want to keep a close eye on our will pool and make sure that we don't, like, just get hit, so. So yeah, just constantly making sure we get topped off on mana and, uh... Yeah, I guess we'll just impale that guy, because why not? Alright, well that guy's dead. That was a little bit bad, I couldn't talk to her real quick. Alright, so this is going to be the absolute most difficult wave of the arena, without a doubt. The Earth Trolls, so... Alright, there's one. Alright, there's two. That was really hard. Ugh, that was really hard. Alright, so this is actually a like moderately difficult wave of the arena right here, so this is the Earth or the Rock Trolls, and uh, these guys will launch rocks at you and just try and ruin your day. And I'm being bad right now, unfortunately. Oh, well, I killed that guy, so that's fine. Alright, so this is the other Earth Troll. So, what I'm doing is, I'm doing an Assassin's Rush, and it's causing him to like look down and wondering like what on earth is going on. And that's just basically a stun lock, so... I killed him. He's dead. 
I lost my combat multiplier, but it doesn't really matter because I had gotten enough XP anyways, so it's all good. Alright, so this is the final wave of the arena, technically. And it is Arachnox. And Arachnox is like this big scary scorpion thing and he's supposed to be intimidating, but he's honestly like a big ball of fluff and he's really easy to kill, so. We do that, we cause him to do a quick dive and we just demolish his little minions. And guys, I'm gonna need an opinion. There's actually a secret wave and the secret wave is that we have to kill Whisper. Or we have to try to at least. So, do we kill Whisper or do we not kill Whisper? That's the real question. Post with your answers now. Kill her. Kill her. You guys are just brute savages. But I'm alright with that. Kill her. I guess we gotta kill her. The people have spoken. Come on. Bam, 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 slam jam, bam, space jam, bam. Alright, we got our XP. Alright, so this is Whisper. We have to kill her. So, I'm gonna do that stuff real quick. Alright, one, two, three. Alright, Whisper, if you could just go into your not grenade phase, that'd be great. Alright, she is dead. He's done it. Yep, I have done it. She is dead. Kill the animals. God. Yeah, we killed her. We killed her good. So, Whisper is now dead. With no real impact to the story whatsoever, so... I'm gonna make our way over to Barrel Fields, and we're gonna go visit the Grey House. And the Grey House is kind of like the White House, but it's a little bit darker and a little bit more dreary and death-like and, uh, Would not want to visit the Grey House. Though I did see the White House once, that was pretty cool. <laughs> Victory Scratch! <laughs> so, yeah. We have killed Whisper, we have triumphed over the arena, and now we are eligible to go to Bowerstone North. And we're also going to get some sick upgrades, so... You can see how much XP we've gotten after just all that spamming, and I apologize that you guys had to hear that, but it's part of the run, so pick up this quest card, save the archaeologist, and we are gonna go over here and get some upgrades. So we got way too much. We got a lot of will XP. I always, I always go overboard with it, but it's better to go overboard than like not have enough, so heck it. So we get our level 4 in flame. Get our level 4 multi-strike. Back out of that. Get a little extra force push, even though I don't really use it all that much. Get slow time. We only use it like two times in the run. Get our physical shield up. And we can't fully upgrade our physical shield or berserk because those are spells that are like based upon alignment. So if you're not fully good or evil, you can't get the best of those spells. I'm gonna get a multi-arrow as well. That's a neutral spell, so we can fully upgrade it. God, this takes forever. Good grief. And we're going to fully upgrade our magic powers since we have the XP to do so. Alright, we got our upgrades, and now we're going to go to Bowerstone South. Ducks. Now, an interesting thing is that in Fable, age is not dictated by how much time you've played, but rather how much XP you've spent. So, we went from like a guy who's like 30 years old to like some guy who's ready to retire oh, in like in the matter of like a minute. So... Age, it's honestly, it doesn't matter in this game. <laughs> Alright, so now we're going to 
do a little bit more economy manipulation. So, gonna buy these diamonds, because diamonds are forever useful in this speedrun. And we're gonna purchase the most powerful weapon in the game, just hidden in like this general shop for some reason. And yeah, now we have the most... Yep, our triumph was brutal. But yeah, we have the most powerful weapon in the game now. The Soulless Greatsword. And it's being sold in a general store for some reason. I don't know why. But we have it. Alright, so... Eh, that's not the spell I want. I'm used to things being in a different place. So yeah, we got our powerful sword. But we're going to keep rolling with the Sword of Aeons right now. Because we can it can carry us all the way to uh, Maze. Which is a fight with me is spoilers, sorry. Alright, so we're gonna make our way over here. Nice, we got barrier skip guys. Barrier skip is real. We are Zelda. This is Zelda. Barrier skip hype. I did it! I did it! I got barrier skip! <laughs> So yeah, we got the barrier skip, and we're gonna be making our way to the archaeologist. So, and this is the prison path. The archaeologist is somewhere at the bottom here. So, just gonna slow things down a little bit. Da, 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 da. So we're here, and we're just gonna use inflame on these guys because they are chumps. You saved me. And if you remember playing this part casually, you remember like just going through the area and killing everything. But if you can get down here fast enough and just kill those two guys at the end, then it's all fine. Just no worries. You can just kill those two things and be done with the mission. And we're just gonna recall and uh. What recalling does is that when you teleport out of an area and you return to an area, it places you at the closest exit of the area. And there's only one exit to the area, which is that gate, so it's a bit faster than just walking up the hill, which is nice. Also saves time IGT, but I don't have a timer going right now, so that's honestly irrelevant right now. Time for Puppet Ganon, hell yeah. Honestly, Maze is a puppet. Korea flashbacks. <laughs> Alright, so we are in Litchfield Graveyard, and here's gonna be the best mini game of the run fishing. So, I, pers I purposefully run this route with the Sword of Aeons because one, it's like marginally faster than the old route, and two, it has less fishing. So, pick up this helmet. Huh. Hello. Talk to this gravekeeper. He's actually like been grave robbing, but he doesn't want to admit it because he's actually a scumbag. He hid it in like these graves and stuff. He's not a cool dude. Got this cool sword though. All right, open this thing up. We got the armor. Unfortunately, we cannot wear it, so that's sad. Alright guys, here comes the fishing. The best part. So you'll see in the top right, there's gonna be a, like a hook and a line. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, Jesus Christ. This fish sucks. Oh my god. Okay, I blame Hanky on that fish. He wished me good luck on the fish earlier today, and I just had like a god awful fish, but I didn't break the line, which is something good. Because if you break the line, there's like this dumb animation where you're all like, ah, shucks, I just broke the line. And yeah, it's slow. Also, shout out to my arm. My armor. Eh, my armor. Close enough. Alright, hopefully I can get this cool little clip. 
because it's awesome and who doesn't love cool clips so yo I got it so I just got swag clip and uh, shout out to KJ Freshly for naming it that so swag clip saves like a couple seconds which is really awesome and it looks super cool so it's awesome I love swag clip so I clip every day of the week. Fishing is always the best part, definitely. So we have to kill some hollow men. So I'm gonna kill this hollow man, but it doesn't count. So I'm gonna kill the oh well, the hot kill itself. So yeah, we have to kill these hollow men and it's like causing these like little green skulls to pop up and we need like a set number in order to go to the next phase. So got some pretty decent RNG here with these undead spawns. Alright, go to slow time, and we'll double inflame these guys. I didn't uh, roll forward. A little slow. And now we are on a quest to find our mother. And she's hidden here. Also, here's a Kraken. And there isn't the Kraken. He's a bit camera shy, he doesn't like being around, so he just kind of dips back into the water. I got low battery, oh no. Gotta charge my phone after this run, guys. So yeah, just do a quick little, uh, oh, get out of my way, sir. Dude, actually that was like a really good segment right there. Honestly, the undead will like try and spawn in your way, but I was just going way too fast for them, I guess. Holy. Also, another nymph. That laugh is the worst thing on this planet, honestly. It's like, look how fast it just like zipped over here. Oh, that wasn't far enough, crap. Alright, so you need to like kill some undead that spawn in that room in order to, uh, clear out the like little barrier. You can't skip that barrier as far as I know, so no mini barrier skip, only just regular barrier skip. And there are other barriers in this game, but like somehow the devs actually figured out how to fix that stuff, so or find a way to get around it. That's our mother, she's in the cage, we just open it up and we try and go on our merry way. So yeah, we're on the the high octane escape from prison, so making our way over here. And unfortunately Jack of Blades has captured us because we're awful at escaping prison, so yeah, we're just going to be stuck in prison for a little while. And this segment in particular is the reason why the world record is run in French. is because this segment saves like 20-ish, 24 sec 25 seconds or so in French in comparison to English. So I'm just running in English because uh, marathon and whatever, people like hearing the game. That's what it is. So yeah, now is an excellent time to you to sit back, get a drink, go for a bathroom break, whatever. Maybe get that comfy, comfy little whatever you want to wear. Get some comfy on. I'm gonna get some water. So good. So I can do stuff like this. <laughs> yeah, there's not really much to do in prison right now other than just like sit around and wait. We can roll around a bit. Around the courtyard and take bets on who will win. Then the winner gets a trip to the warden 
Time to plug in that phone. I mean, I plug it in, but my like charger is plugged into my computer, and I don't want to make a sound during a marathon. That'd be unprofessional. So I'm totally gonna do it. <laughs> nah. Fish Molly, dude. Fish Molly has lore, man. Fish Molly causes people to fall from the sky. I'm not lying. Oh yeah, the guards, like, they talk to your head, so if you're rolling, you'll just kind of, like, make their heads bob. It's kind of funny. Some of us have bet a lot of money on you. Win, and we like you. Lose, and you get around in the torture chamber. That sounds fun. Yes, sounds fun. <laughs> Let me hear it. <laughs> Alright, so now we're going to be... Participating in a high octane race, so. All right, so we're gonna be rolling around, and we're trying to make it to the warden. And if we win the race, then we get a world famous poetry reading, which is nice. And if we lose, we get torture. I don't know which is worse, but at least poetry doesn't give you scars, physical ones at least. So, we're gonna be making our way over here, we're rolling around. And these guys are just like yelling profanities at us, trying to make us go faster. I don't know. Honestly, I haven't been called a turd yet, so that's pretty nice. Alright, so a little bit of speed tech here, so... Screen's gonna fade to black and I'm gonna roll a bit, so... The cautionary song of the jailbird. So that places me a bit further forward. And if I were just to start directly at the door, so that's like a like a marginal time save, which is nice. And we are entering the barber shop of doom, so got a haircut. Well, 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 here we are again. And here is probably where uh, a friend of mine, Adam, would talk about beard facts. So I'm gonna talk about beard facts. So you see this like little beard on her chin. So yeah, you see that beard. That beard is only obtainable in prison, and there's like no way to get it through a barber shop or anything, and we don't even keep it throughout the run because we grow an even bigger beard later on. So yeah, gonna chill a bit. I'm gonna put on the the best cam in the world so we can like look around and stuff. We can look at our butt. I'm gonna keep that on for a little while. Chill. Look at some butt. <laughs> Nothing like a little bit of butt. Look lively, this hero scum. is time sick. to move out. <laughs> it's race time, and you'd better put on a good show. Some of us have bet a lot of money on you. <laughs> Win, and we like you. <laughs> Lose, and you get around in the torture Sorry, chamber. That sounds fun. <laughs> yes, sounds fun. <laughs> Let me hear it. <laughs> I got my leg. Just out of sync. Oh, the guy didn't start sideways. Darn it. This is my year. <laughs> Call that running, you snail. You ugly maggot. So yeah, I'm just like imagining how it must be to be this guy. Like he's rolling up stone stairs. Like his neck must be absolutely ruined, honestly. Like Like, oh my god, his face must hurt so bad. I can't help but feel bad for this guy, like, honestly, rolling around on these hard surfaces, like, dude, that's gotta hurt. So yeah, he's impressed that we roll really fast, so we're back in here again. Alright, so now we have found the key in order to escape from prison. So, got the cell key. The has lost his key. And now we can escape prison with ease. And I would free these prisoners, but that'd be slow. So, if you want to see a run where I save the prisoners, you can watch my uh, run from NASA. That's actually a really good run. I'd recommend uh, watching that. It's good fun. Had uh, Dr. T. Chops on uh, commentary, so. Also, my rolls are sucking right now. 
go down to that. That's not what I want. Same thing happened at NASA. Just speak of it and things will happen. That's not what I want. That's what I want. Alright, so now that we're on our way out, we're gonna be opening up this little little cage that our mother is inhabiting. Yeah, there's not really much else to say. We're just making a mad escape. Gonna get some movement. How'd you get down here? Just hear these guys kind of be baffled as to how we're escaping and seeing like a giant, like glowing red man just charge down the hallway. Just like, what on earth? It's like, what's that? Honestly, like, if I were in these guys' shoes, I'd be horrified. Like, holy. How'd you get down there? How'd you get down there? All right, so this is the this is the kraken. Uh, we're gonna make some quick calamari of this these tentacles. So dunk those. Charge up a bow and use our multi arrow. Just use a then case, and we're also gonna wreck our mom. So get wrecked, mom. Yeah, she's not a fan of that, but you know whatever. It's, it's a prank, mom. Look, here's the here's the kraken. And we're berserked because we cast spells slightly faster when we are berserked, so. And that is the Kraken. It is dead. Really, really easy boss. It's being like really over dramatic as well. Like, oh, shut up, you're dead. Stop being a drama queen. Alright, so we have Escape Prison. And we're gonna make our way over to Barrel Fields once again. Pretty uh, integral part of the run, or area in the run. Visit here a couple times, just gotta get that necessary plot progression. And yeah. Make our way downtown. Yo, where are the undead at? There they are. That was weird. I don't know why the undead didn't spawn. Alright, so we're gonna make our way through Hook Coast, and we come here once again. We come here actually two more times in the run. And we're just gonna roll our way on through here. Gonna be a cutscene trigger right here. And there's like some barrier. Uh, I'm pretty sure we could skip it if we tried, but it wouldn't progress the story at all, so we have to do some boring story stuff. And we're gonna go back to the guild. And our mother is gonna prove that she is yet again the best at. Yeah, so she just, like, I don't know, did something weird or something. 
But yeah, she just got kidnapped again, so she's like awesome at that. She's the best at getting kidnapped. Classic mom, always getting kidnapped. So we have to save her again or something, so we have to go to Hook Coast and progress the story because why not? Had to do it in order to actually beat the game, so. Alright, so we're gonna go to Hook Coast. Is there a plot in Fable? Honestly, I don't think there is. Like, there's lore. There's no plot, though. We've got to get out of here. All right. So the things that are spawning are like race or whatever, and they're kind of annoying, but. They won't really harm us if we uh, just kind of go past them. And there's like some, it's supposed to be a barrier, but like, you can hear the door sounds. Like it's some really elaborate door, really. Alright, so we are here and we discovered that Maze is a traitor, so we're really mad and we're gonna like beat him up or something. So. Didn't get that uh, frame perfect input. You can hit him two times and that'll uh, bring him down to a specific amount of health and that'll be very good, but. Trying to zap us, I guess. That's probably not enough to bring him down to the front. Yeah, it's not. So there's a way that you can, like, get Maze to low enough health in which that he'll end up teleporting in front of the, in front of the lighthouse over here. But unfortunately, he was like a little bit too high. So we'll just kill him like that. It's fine. Leaves us with just enough uh, multi arrow shots in order to kill Jack of Blades. So. It's not too bad, but it could have been faster, so. In order to get the swing on him before he teleports, it's a one frame window, so. Uh, yeah, we're gonna go to the Mushroom Kingdom and save our mother from Bowser. Except Bowser's like a really skinny dude in a, in a hood, so. And also she dies, so. I just quickly swap over to the lightning spell because I'm gonna need that a little bit. No, that's not lightning, that's slow time. Gosh dang it. Get my spells mixed up. So yeah, if you have uh, lightning on your spell bar, or whatever, if you can cast lightning at uh, Jack of Blades, You'll just trigger the cutscene and not have to go directly towards him, or directly close to him. Which is very nice. But sometimes the AI can be a big pain, but they weren't there, so we can get the zap in on him. We always need to zap things, without a doubt. Oh geez, that was awful. That was another example of soft targeting. Good stuff, good stuff. Yeah, Thunder's a little mad that we killed Whisper, but honestly, who gives a who gives a hoot? Because we killed Thunder anyways. We steal his thunder. See so yeah, I just roll into the water. And coming up on the final focus site. Yeah, yeah, focus sites are like things, they're like special rocks that have magic power or some nonsense story. Who cares? We're just going fast. No one gives a hoot about the story. That's not fast at all. So this segment, like the entire segment, is pretty RNG and to where as to where the uh, 
his minions will spawn and where friendly NPCs will spawn and whatnot. So it's pretty RNG, but we had some pretty okay uh, spawns that we could work off of. So not too uh, angry or sad about it. It's pretty good. All right, so let's go into the Chamber of Fame again. And here is going to be where the original game would end, but uh, since we're playing Lost Chapters, there's some bonus content. Isn't that awesome? This guy's on one hit. Alright. That's Jack of Blades, we're just kind of beating him up. Uh, I didn't get the one frame trick. There's a very tight frame window in which you can start charging your bow back during a cutscene, and I did not get that, unfortunately, so... It's fine, we can still kill him in one shot, but it takes us like a couple seconds to charge back our bow fully. Alright, so we beat Jack of Blades, and we have the Sword of Aeons again, somehow, so we're just gonna kill our sister because it's the fastest option. Yeah, we're terrible people, by the way, if that isn't already clear. We make so many bad decisions. <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna swip, swap over to the Solus Great Sword again because the game will default you to the Sword of Aeons after killing your sister because you have to have that equipped in order to kill her, so. It's often funny just seeing, like, you try and hurt her when you don't have the Sword of Aeons, like, you're just beating her up and being a big bully. You can only kill her with the Sword of Aeon, so... Like, you could beat her up with a stick. It's it's honestly silly. That's Scythe. He's, like, a little bit important to the plot. Of what little plot there is in this game. Do a quick little summon clip. Get into the Prophet's Chamber. And here is some high-octane gameplay. A puzzle game. Sun signs only, I implore you. Beware, hero. One of us. Spare my brother. Extreme. That didn't look nice. Not moon to sun. That's good. Sunny. Sunny. Yeah, this is really, really exciting gameplay it. right now, it's honestly. Good time now. We don't want to make any silly mistakes, do we? Oh no! Does anyone else have sweaty palms? Yeah, we do have horns now because we did something like really, really bad. I ask only for clemency for me and my fellow prophets. Yeah, this is like the most exciting part of the run, without a doubt. We're just doing this puzzle. It's pretty, uh, pretty exciting. Just a few more. No slowing down, without a doubt. Going fast. Thank you, young man. Why do I no? No, it's got to be sun signs, you idiot, not moons. Yeah, this guy's like an angry old fart, so we just kill him because it's fast. You just don't care, do you? I knew this was coming. Yeah, he's dead. Oh well, it's a big shame. Now we have the Fireheart, and we need that in order to progress the game a little bit, so... Alright, we have the Fireheart, and we'll make our way to Hook Coast yet again. So yeah, we're coming up on like the last like 15 minutes of the game here, so... Gotta go up to this uh, lighthouse again that we busted down, and if you actually don't uh, have Maze go up there, the door will just be busted down anyways, even though you didn't bust it down, someone else did, so that's interesting I suppose. Come on, we have to stop and that's a summoner, it's like a little mini boss thing, but it's a real chump. Also we got a fast kill on it, and uh... 
I mean, that's pretty good. Uh, I feel like fast kills on the first and third are the most beneficial. Also, if my movement was better, I would have been able to get this guy in time before he started up his second, like, ball of death, so... And unfortunately, you cannot harm these guys when they have their balls being charged, so... Oh, dude, nice! I got the second kill. Or the third kill. That's really nice. That's, like, optimal right there. You have optimal RNG. Alright, so... Coming up is... A little mini-boss. Everyone loves mini-bosses, right? So, this is an ice troll. Yo, ding dong, man. Ding dong. Ding dong, yo. Yo, I actually fucking switched my scenes, but thank you for the follow. I do apologize so very much. I, I explicitly went through the steps to ensure this wouldn't happen, and it happened. I am so sorry, DJ Dash. But you guys get to hear my hilarious follower notification. That sucks. I, it was off of the scene, man. Gosh dang. Please save follows for after the run, please. <laughs> oh, I'm so embarrassed. Oh man, this is awful. Delete the VOD. Oh god. I deleted I deleted my freaking scenes for this. Like, like I deleted my sources. <laughs> Fired. Fire me, man. I'm not coming back to DJ Dash. <laughs> oh god, I'm flustered now. I'm so sorry, guys. <laughs> Literally the worst. Worst speedrunner, NA. <laughs> I am so sorry. Alright, so this is Snowspire Village. It's basically like a clone of, uh. Clone of Bowerstone. Honestly, like, they have the same music. The shops are, like, actually the same stock as each other. It's pretty. pretty rip offy, pretty low effort. Dang it, Doctor. Get one job. Actually, you didn't have a job. I did, and I messed up. <laughs> uh, honestly, just whatever. Here's the cutscene trigger, and we're going into the necropolis. And if you remember uh, the necropolis, as whenever you played it, you would just be like digging up everything and whatever there was. But we have to look for three specific names. Well, George W. is one of them, so get George W. out of the way. So you get George W., T. Fung, and I Love It. Those are the three uh, names you want to be looking out for on these graves. And you saw me like look at the minimap briefly, and that just tells me which uh, graves I, I have to check in order to find out which... Uh, Graves contain the tablets that I need. <laughs> Selling perfumes to make infinite money. True. Alright, so we have actually a pretty good chance of the final one being like in these graves right here, so... Ah, that sucks. Alright, so the last tablet that we need to pick up that we can is going to be over in this area, so... It's either going to be in this grave right here, I love it. Alright, I love it is there. There's a chance for it to be in the grave next to it, which is an unmarked grave. Gosh dang it. Classic me being slow. This is Zion. Yeah, so I like I took forever on that. I mean, yeah, real perfume perfume probably does work like that to be honest. You got a lot of perfume, you can sell it. Alright. You have 
uncovered. You have uncovered. So now we are making our way to the last like five-ish minutes of the game. So gonna go back to the Archon Shrine. Are you there? You heard what the Oracle said. Meet me at the Archon Shrine. Hey, glad you're here. So we're being told that we have to get three heroes souls in order to unlock the bronze gate in order to kill the final boss. So Gonna make our way over to Knothole Glade, and we're gonna find a hero that is suitable. The first soul that we need is the Arena's soul, so we could like kill ourselves, but that would not be very efficient. So we're just gonna kill Thunder instead. He's a real pushover. That was easy. We're gonna make way over to the Archon Shrine, and we're gonna learn that the second soul is the Heroine Soul. So that means we could like go find our mother's soul or something, but that'd be slow and boring. So we're just gonna go kill Briar instead, the person that's been helping us with this whole thing. <laughs> gonna stand in the middle here, and it's gonna be a bunch of them. And the real one is this one. You'll have to find me first. I'm gonna go back to the center here. Illusion. A coward's trick. Only if one of them is real. It's not mean to do that in flame. She's playing games with you. She deserves and my bridge is gonna wear out. I'm gonna roll over here. Oh, I didn't have any any will. My bad. Alright, she is dead. Now we're going to be making our way to the final soul, which is going to be the oldest soul. And we're going to go to Litchfield Graveyard. Typically, well, we've been doing like the evil choices, but we're going to go for the good choice since it's like 30 seconds faster, so. We're going to be abusing the recall mechanic again here, so. Going to go to the old graveyard path, and I should mention that time will be coming up in like a few minutes so I'll just call when that is so we go to the dirt here and we're gonna go to the Heroes Guild and it's gonna trigger the game to uh, just trigger the events for the final uh, quest before the last quest so I'm gonna recall here and I'm gonna be placed right where we need to be so I said before, it places it close to the, closest to the nearest exit, and this is the nearest exit, which is the entrance to the Circle of the Dead. Which is where Nostro is going to be, the guy that we need to kill, so. Yeah, so I need that. Get that sick one cycle on Nostro. And yeah, we're approaching the end of the game here, so it's going to be like the last minute, so. Uh, I honestly don't know why people haven't swapped over to IGT. I personally have pushed for IGT, but I'm not a moderator and I don't have all to say, whatever. It's, it's whatever, it's fine. Yeah, time is like in 40 seconds. Not even, it's gonna be in 30 seconds. So. 25. <laughs> so, this is Jack of Blades. He's a little bit different from the last time we saw him. Probably got some like plastic surgery or whatever. Got some like, like a dragoplasty or something. And now we've killed him. Alright. And time. Hey, good run, man. Yeah. Oh, well, what's my time? You got a 128.38. Eh, not bad. Not bad. It could have been better. Still underestimate. Yeah, I can't deny that, so. <laughs> Do you have any last things you want to say to everyone? Um. 
if you want to participate in the Fable speedrunning community, there is a Discord link. You can find it at the uh, speedrun.com slash um, TLC, I believe. Or just search up Fable Lost Chapters. You can find any resources. Or contact any of the runners like me or Adam underscore T on Twitter, and we can hook you up with the link to the Discord.